Hello, my name is Kendall Clark and I'm a KTSW sports reporter and today I'll be showing you all my day-to-day -day basis of being a reporter. Before I go interview a Texas State coach, I do my research from the past game to refresh myself and think of questions to ask on the interview. I go to the Texas State Athletics website and go to the recap of the game. This game in particular was a Texas State and Georgia Southern game. Sadly, the Bobcats fell short of Georgia Southern by two points. After I do all my research on that game, I'm ready to go to practice. I get myself ready, grab my mask with COVID, and go to the stadium. Once I get to the stadium, I head up to the stands and take some notes. I usually get to practice about 30 minutes early to get all my questions ready and watch the players to think of any more. Once practice is over, an SID, Sports Information Director, will come get me and other reporters to head over to the conference room for the interview. Here is a clip from behind the scenes access of being a sports reporter with Coach Zach Spavadol talking about the post-Texas State and Georgia Southern game. Coach, um, tell us what you thought last week against Georgia Southern. You know, um, I was a little disappointed in our inconsistent, you know, we were inconsistent. Um, I. Um, we don't have an issue right now with our effort or toughness. You know, our kids play extremely hard. They play very tough. Um, they played to win that game. Um, you know, I've got to figure out um, we're very streaky. You know, we're a team that's, you know, when we get put in adverse situations, like what happened in the first half with we had the two, inter our offense had the two interceptions, and then the, we had that turnover interception on the punt fake, and our defense rose to the occasion. You know, we held them to two field goals, which is, a win against Georgia Southern and we got a turnover. After the interview, I go about my week waiting for game day to come. Now it's game day and I'm heading to Bobcat Stadium to watch and get content for the Texas State and Arkansas game. The touchdowns were incomplete until number three, Jemiah Hadel, caught the ball to give the Bobcats a 17-10 advantage. While I was at the game, I also got to go see the Texas State University Strutters cheering on the Bobcats as well. And that today, I have a KTSW sports reporter behind the scenes of the Bobcats.